Review, the GTC4 Lusso is basically, a development of Ferrari's presently resigned FF. It has two entryways, four seats, and a shooting brake backside that puts it marginally inconsistent with whatever remains of Ferrari's colorful portfolio. We've observed this four-seater to be forceful and exceedingly proficient out and about. It's additionally less wild than different autos in Ferrari's lineup, as befits an excellent tour. The two bucket-like raised seats are shockingly agreeable, and they overlap level to fundamentally expand the extent of the valuable payload territory. Guiding wheel mounted turn flag controls, gigantic section mounted oar shifters, and a dashboard with more dairy animal side effect than a McDonald's supply truck all place to lasso immovably in the Ferrari family tree, as does the outlandish wailing of its motors. What's new, after the Lusso's presentation for 2017, Ferrari has added another model to the lineup for 2018, named the GTC4 Lusso T. Ferrari Reliable will perceive the T as a designator for the brand's twin-turbocharged 3.9-liter V8 motor, tuned in this case to create 602 strength and 561 pounds to foot of torque. The Lusso T likewise utilizes a lighter and less difficult back-wheel drive setup setup of the all-wheel drive in the V12 demonstrate that we drove for this survey. Ferrari claims this new model will trail the first by just a tenth of a moment or so to 60 miles per hour, and the V8 really delivers 47 pounds to foot more to work than the V12, however it has 78 less strength. It's likewise around 40,000 more affordable. The reasonable purchaser would pick the V8-fueled Lusso T, yet reasonability does not frequently actuate individuals to visit a Ferrari store. What we like, first of all, it's a Ferrari. A 10-second video walk-around of our V12 loaner auto rapidly turned into this current creator's best Snapcat ever. It evoked quick positive reactions from, among others, individuals from the car and driver staff, who had all observed it in the parking garage minutes sooner, a recent and generally obstinate sentimental entry, and a companion who once, unprompted, proclaimed a base Toyota Corolla extremely decent. From the outside styling and the cowhide lined inside to the Ferrari red Keycock's comb, there's no mixing up the GTC4 Lusso for something customary. What's more, that is all without hearing its motor. As the normally suction 6.3-liter V12 approaches its Virtue Osset 8200 revolution per minute redline, it delivers a reminiscent moan not at all like nearly whatever else out and about. The extraordinary snappiness and supported power that go with the Lusso's Aria could make anybody wired. Indeed, even this as far as anyone knows tamer Ferrari can shed road legitimate speeds and transitory seconds under full control increasing speed. At that point it's up to the driver to play out some brisk hazard, remunerate figurings. Or on the other hand look for a shot course on which to investigate the more profound ranges of the GTC4 Lusso's execution envelope. All-wheel drive keeps the 12-chamber Lusso planted to the ground beneath 124 miles per hour, over that it's entirely a back driver, and the light, super accurate guiding keeps the brain slash body slash auto association alive. Did we say that we fit four portable packs behind the back seats? What we don't like, our rundown of the versions is short and curves toward nitpicking. Actually, the GTC4 Lusso is an astounding vehicle by any standard.